These are all the bolts and fasteners and things that I took off the car and I made sure that I labeled everything. Um, they're going to help mount everything back together. Um, these are the new parts I got. Some I didn't have them. The bumper support. Um, I guess plastic bumper. I'm not sure what you call it. And these pieces mount behind there. This goes underneath the bumper, the air guide, I think, these combination making air guide, it's like a splash pan. Got my air box up here, and the coolant overflow, um, everything power steering related here. And in the back of the car we got new center console, it, or it's not new, just used. So this is the armrest is broken in mine, I want to get a cup holder yet, driving stick with a cup in your hand is kind of frustrating and then I got the hood, the fenders, the bumper and the bent ender liner for the rest of the, this is everything that will need to go into the, into this compartment here. I got the suspension back together. So I've been got the hood mounted. Um, got the this corner kind of lined up where it needs to be, and I'm running into a bit of fitment issue on the side that was damaged. Um, I'm guessing the pop-up light was also damaged, but I think the fix I can have for that is the mounting bolts down here. I can probably oblong the holes a bit here if they're not um, ovaled out. I have to take a look. I'll have to take it back out and. The other mounting point is here, so we'll work with the side bolts in there first, and then we'll pull. And if I have to, I'll bend this in um, this way a little bit here. That should pull it in as well. So after lots of playing and adjusting the pieces inside, and twisting or adjusting the three bolts inside and bending the tabs, bending these tabs. This is a pretty close fit already. Alright, the plan is to remove this power steering rack and depower it because it leaks. This is the power steering rack out of the Miata. Um, I'm going to convert it to a manual. This is what's inside of the rack and this is the main rod where the tire, inner tie rods bolt to each end. And basically what we're going to do is cut out this seal and from the tutorial I watched the seal allows, when it slides in this tube, you'll have, I guess from this line, when you want to turn, um, we're looking at the car, so you want to turn right, it'll push fluid in this side, pushing on here, pushing it that way when you steer, and when you want to go um, left, it pushes in here and it pushes on that side. So we're going to take this out and then we're going to grease everything up and reassemble it and stick it back in the car. It actually looks like a fairly easy job with the tutorial. Alright, this is that seal. I can now cut it off. Slide through there. And it's off. This is the rack. I've depowered it now, so it's going to be a manual rack was once a power steering rack, so I'm going to go install it into the car. Got the man manual rack, depowered rack installed. Very close to completion of this part of the car. It didn't have any of these plastic shields, so I've installed those underneath just to finish it off. Should help with cooling. Especially with the twin fans of the uh, that the air conditioned model has, so this should do quite well. I should be able to run a little harder at the track. Um, everything tightened up there. So we'll put the front wheels on. 
And now we're up to, uh, just as you can see in there, it's all cleaned up. Painted the tow hooks. If I had to get towed, it won't last. Um, but now we're up to doing the coolant. I have a damaged console. I tried doing a quick repair, it didn't work. Coming off, but we got a new one here. Well, not a new one, just a used one with a good lid. This is a new console lid. Works really good. Much better than the old piece that I had on there. The ashtray does not look good. It's got a big crack. I think I dropped a wrench on it at one point when I was working on the convertible top. I mean, this, this is alright. I don't smoke. Uh, you can put coins in there and whatnot. So, I have uh, ended up purchasing from Moss Miata a cup holder. So, you first you get the removable tray, and what I really like, I found it interesting because uh, do not drink alcoholic beverages and drive. And, um, yeah, I don't think we need to do that. And so that goes in there first. Then next goes, it's a one-way fit. Alright guys, thanks for following along in this portion of the build. Time for me to head out and see if I can get a safety done on this car. And have lots of fun driving in the summer.